Hey, how's it going? Mr. Deadman of Rant and Chill here. Remember in 2016 when Rob Halford collabed with Baby Metal on stage and sang Painkiller and Breaking the Law? That was good, right? Great. <laughs> well, there's a chance it could actually happen again. Uh, according to this article here, uh, Rob Halford says it would be a dream to collab with Baby Metal. He did it once already. So chances are pretty good. If he has a desire to do it, that's going to happen. Uh, I mean, what's the likely? I mean, if he's expressing this this intent right here, then if they're if they're going to be working on a fourth album, which will probably uh, what's the name of the fourth album going to be? I'm going to take a guess. Metal Universe. If I'm right about that, that'd be amazing. <laughs> maybe I'm not. We'll see. Maybe maybe it'll be called uh, Fox God. Who knows? But anyway, but if they're working on a fourth album, uh, then that's that'd be perfect time. For Rob, Rob Halford to collab on a song, you know, maybe uh, because he did a lot of collabs on the, with Metal Galaxy. So let's see. Uh, yeah, according to the article here, Rob Halford has revealed that he would love to write a song with Baby Metal. Hey, they're, they're looking for people. You know, that's what they do. If you want to help, if, if you want to participate, go right ahead. Uh, not just anybody, though, right? They, they reach out to certain people. Anyway, uh, Judas Priest legend Rob Halford has revealed that he would love to collaborate with Baby Metal, and that would be great. At a new interview with uh, Metal Hammer magazine, Rob remembers performing with Baby Metal at the 2016 Alternative Music Awards, where they played Judas Priest, Breaking the Law, and Painkiller. He says, I was delighted to be asked, and it was such a hectic day that it was over in a flash, but it was a blast. And it was a blast of a performance. It was great. It was great. It was cool seeing the girls do that. Uh, let's see. It goes on. Uh, in the same interview, Rob revealed that he would love to collaborate on a new song with the Japanese band. Uh, he goes on to say that it would be great to jump in on a gimme chocolate or a headbanger. But even more than that, I would love to sing in Japanese because I've never done anything like that, Rob said. Uh, it would be a thrill to sing a baby metal song. But rather than one of their existing songs, I would like to do something unique. So already with the great mindset Dude, if there's going to be a fourth album, which there's going to be, chances are you're going to see some Judas Priest influence on that. Maybe just one song, okay? Let's see. He goes on to say that um, to do something unique, make a one-off special. All right. Sounds good. Hey, maybe it's going to be another uh, Road of Resistance, like when Dragon Force uh, collabed with uh, Baby Metal for Road of, Resist Road of Resistance. Uh, let's see. Uh it could be a one-off special that would be a dream. Maybe when the priest goes to Japan next, we could stop in a studio and do an original song called Fox God, Metal God. <laughs> yes, I think they would like that. I think, I think we would like that. I think we would. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is very possible? Do you think it's set in stone? I think I'm looking at it this way. If it's inevitable that they're going to be working on a fourth album, then it's inevitable that um, Rob Halford's going to be on that album. I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, I don't see why he wouldn't be. They already jammed on stage live in 2016. It just makes perfect sense. Uh, if I was a, if I was to take a bet on it, I would. I would, man. I'd bet. I bet. Bet some money on that. <laughs> I bet a hundred bucks. I bet a hundred bucks that on the next album, Rob Halford's on it. Okay. And if I'm wrong, I suppose I donate the hundred bucks to a charity. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, oh, it goes on to say, once I knew I was going to do it, I thought about their outfits. I went to their vintage store and got a black and red pseudo leather jacket. Oh, that's why he was wearing that. Okay. All right. Look at that. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so let me guys know about your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. You guys take it easy. Like I said, I've been talking about a lot of baby metal here. I love bites and uh, got to be kind of looking at other Japanese bands as well. Uh, as, as well. Anyway, y'all take it easy.